All right. Welcome to the first annual Protein Bar Taste Test. I'm so excited for this. We are going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we are going to try... How many do we have? Um, I think we have 11. We're going to try 11 different protein bars, and we're going to rank them by taste. Yeah. We're also going to rank them by the amount of calories. I'm going to talk about how maybe they could fit into a meal replacement. I'm so excited for this. We have talked about doing this. For a long time. I think like since you started your channel. I think this yeah. is like a very early idea that you yeah. had. Probably like close to at least a year, a year if not like 18 more. months. Um, the reason for that is two things. I saw some people do this a while ago and I thought it would be fun. But also... People may not know, this is my second attempt at a YouTube channel. My first yeah. attempt at a YouTube channel was like five years ago, maybe four. Yeah. Uh, and it was more variety. And we used to do a lot of oh, like, yeah. like random in, challenge in stuff. Yeah. So we used to do like uh, language videos. Uh -huh. I would have you guess if they, they were athletes or not. We would take like BuzzFeed quizzes. We would do BuzzFeed quizzes. So, so this is a little oh, bit of athlete a, or not one was yeah. so funny. He would just show me a picture and was like athlete or not athlete. Yeah. And you did pretty okay. I did fair. Um, so this is a little bit of throwback to that. Those videos no longer exist. People always ask me, no, you cannot see them. They were they, pretty good though. No, Some of them were good. I just hate the way that I look in them obviously. Yeah. Cause that was like at the peak of my weight. So yeah. maybe I, maybe I will show some of them. They're not bad videos. Maybe, I think maybe if the public is really clamoring no, for those maybe, videos. Maybe if we, <laughs> maybe if we finally get a thousand subscribers okay. and we can monetize this bad boy. Cause Woohoo. you know, it's all about the money, baby. Yeah, man. Okay, so let's, I mean, let's just get started, I just shall have we? I them all in a bag, okay. and so I'm just going to reach in and grab one, oh, and we're just going to do that. I, I hate protein bars. Oh, and we're starting with the Quest bar. All right. Can we see this? We're starting with the Quest Ugh. Crispy. You got to do the hand. I'm not doing the hand. <laughs> and we're not doing influencer hand. Okay, so it's the Quest Crispy Blueberry Cobbler. Oh, boy. It is 160 calories, which is pretty low. 160? Uh huh. That's and not it that has bad. 16 grams of protein. It is a whey protein. It is. I was just about blend. to ask. Do I we know if it's whey protein? Any ones that are not just whey protein, I wrote down. Oh, on cool. My paper. Okay, good. So, so the reason we protein. ask is whey protein is usually the most impactful uh, protein in terms of muscle building, muscle mm -hmm. protein synthesis. Mm hmm. I mean, casein is also really good, but they don't really make casein protein out of I or into bars. I did not see any bar with casein. They usually, protein. that's reserved for the powders. Powder. I don't know why that is, but. What is the difference? Casein is a slower digesting protein. Okay. I, you know, so. Do they both come from milk? I believe they're both milk based. Okay. But I think it's the way that the branch chain amino acid is either processed or mm. how they develop it. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Conventional wisdom back in the day, bodybuilding wisdom, gym bro wisdom was you take the whey protein in the anabolic window, which was like an hour after you trained. Mm -hmm. And then you take the casein protein overnight so that you were never in catabolism. You were never in okay. muscle breakdown. You were always in an anabolic state. You were state. always proteined. I don't know what the truth yeah. for that is. So what are we going to do? We're just going to take yeah, a bite? Yeah, just take a bite. All Open right, it up, let's take a bite. Oh. oh, it's got like a... White. Oh, it's got a weird like flan, flan, flan looking color. Is it like white chocolate on the outside? I don't know. Oh, it smells kind of like white chocolate. Taste okay, it, Okay, I'm going to go for it. That is not bad. No, that's not bad at all. Wow, I actually kind of like that. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a weird um, aspartame kind of like artificial sugar taste. Mm -hmm. But I would 100% eat that. It's kind of like a Rice Krispie treat on the inside. Wow, good job, Quest. It tastes like cinnamon and blueberry. And blueberry. Damn, I was expecting that that's to be good. terrible. That's pretty good. Oh, also, if you're sensitive to like chewing and mouth noises, this is not the episode for you. If you have misophonia. <laughs> Is that what it's called? I think so. Wow, I didn't know it had a real word. Yeah. All what? Right. Where are we ranking we that? Rank it pretty high. Let's so, it like so we're gonna go on my side is best, and on Sarah's side is worst. Because for us that looks. I think we should change it. We should make the best over here so that it. Okay. Makes well, then put it over there. Okay. Okay. This, this Sarah's is side is best. My side is worst. All right. So so far, I would say. I mean, that's like an A. A plus. Yeah. And 160 calories is like a good snack. Yeah. So that's the other thing. 
that that is not going to like put you back if you're on a deficit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so something that could kind of tide you over. I will say we've got a pretty wide range of calories. calories. Yeah, I saw these. a couple of them were massive. Some of them are pretty high. Um, 16 grams of protein is on the lower end for all of our yeah. sample size, but for such a low calorie bar, that's a pretty good ratio. Yeah, I it's feel decent. Like. I would say if we're talking about like protein supplements, 15 grams and above is usually my cutoff because anything below that just like, seems kind of useless. Like it's wasted calories, especially if you're in like a deficit. Yeah. If you're in a bulk, I don't really see the need for you to be eating like protein bars unless you like the taste of them. Mm -hmm. Like in my mind, a deficit is when you would lean on protein supplements because you can get the protein in without the huge calorie cost. Right. If you're bulking, just eat freaking chicken and pasta, man, or like a burger. You know what I mean? Right. Or like a candy bar if you're doing a dirty bulk. Right. So, you know, that's the context in which I'm coming to protein supplements. Yeah. Oh, God. Ready for the next one? Oh, this is the Gatorade right, brand this is one? The ga- so Gatorade has protein bars. Ugh. It is cookies and cream flavor. Oh, these are... Dude, cookies and cream is notoriously bad. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. So I we'll see I if that holds true. I've gotten a couple of cookies and cream. Wow. Read the calories on this bad boy. It is boy. 350 calories. Holy cow. So I don't know if this would veer more into meal replacement because it I is so. large. It is a pretty fat bar. It's huge. How many grams is that? Uh, 80. 80 grams so in one a, serving size, which is one bar. It's a pretty big bar. Um, it has it's got tw- 13 grams of fat. Ooh. That's crazy. That's pretty high. Um, it has 20 grams of protein. And, and it, 41 grams of carbs. So this, this is, is a definitely meal a meal replacement bar. then. This is, yeah. the, I would. It does not say meal replacement no, bar on it there. It just says but, protein bar. But definitely like, this is one of those where you're bulking and you just, you know, you like the yeah. taste of it or whatever. I would not eat this on a cut, on a cut. No. No way. Okay. Well, because I feel like meal replacement bars on a cut. Oh, very chocolatey. Very like um, Hershey's throw up chocolate. But I feel like if you're on a cut, a meal replacement bar is not going to keep you satiated enough. That has been my experience. My experience has been separate. I've had more success separating meals out into smaller meals. So I eat five times a day rather than three. And this might be like a snack. But okay. even still... It is big snack. It is not going to really feel like the density of it is not going to make you feel full in your stomach. Because it probably doesn't have much fiber. Right. Oh, God. No. Oh. Oh, it's crunchy. It's not terrible. I don't like it at all. I kind of like it. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I the same hate it. Crispy. As the yeah, other but one. that one's less offensive. Oh God, and it just keeps getting worse. I need I a have, water. I'm gonna go get a water. You're jugged right there. Yeah, you can get jugged. I don't have any problem with this actually. I mean, I I like chocolate. It doesn't taste super artificial, sweetenery. Oh. I don't really mind that. I mean, definitely, it doesn't taste artificial. But I think you pay for that in the fact that it's got 350 calories. Yeah. So it is real sugar and real chocolate. I think it's okay. Maybe I, I just that. don't like cookies and cream. Yeah, you might just not like cookies and cream. I think that's actually really good. Really? I like it. We're going to battle on where to put that in the middle then. Yeah. We should have had two separate ranking systems. Well, I think anybody who's watching the video will like... Figure it out. Hear our thoughts. Okay. Yeah, I think that one's okay. I definitely like the like crispy, the rice crispy texture in a protein bar. I think that that is is a saving part of it because... I feel like a lot of protein bars are like... Like yes, really have to break your super jaw chewy. To, yeah, I feel like we're moving away from that. When I was when I was in high school, that was the way. That's like, like all you the power can, bar. You oh, dude, the power bar was like, oh god, this one's gonna be bad. We've made it to the Kirkland brand. So yeah, we have not tried this oh, flavor. Geez. This came in a pack that had some cookies and cream and some of this flavor, which is chocolate brownie. Oh. The cookies and cream one, or the no, it's it cookie, cookie dough. dough. Oh. It's not very good. Not very good. Um, it, it's horrendous. Yeah, it's not good. I did so. I Googled the other day what to do with protein bars you don't like, and it recommended microwaving them. Oh God! And and it actually it made it taste a little bit like cookie dough, and uh, I and I could get through about half of it. Here's um, the thing: your palate, you can eat anything. Yeah. You 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 I'm are not, not picky. picky at all. Whereas I am incredibly picky. Yeah. But it's um. So this one is. 190 calories. Okay. It has 21 grams of protein and it has a mix of milk and whey protein. How much protein was in the Gatorade bar again? 20. So this has this more. This has more? This has 21. Oh God. This is going to be dense. Yeah. Oh, I think th- this is expired too. 
No, it's not. Yeah. What does it say? 14th of June, 2023. Oh. All right, let's Sorry. give it a go. And it's the chocolate brownie flavor. If I, I die, know. it's because we're eating bad <laughs> protein. Ugh. It's fine. It doesn't smell good. I can't tell if that's the expiration or if it's, that's... It's fine. Babe, <laughs> this looks terrible. I don't know if you can see this. It looks like a turd. Uh, yeah, I'm not eating a lot of this. <laughs> no, just a sample. Oh, See now, oh God, I don't even want to, I'm not even going to swallow this. Where are you going to put it? I don't know. We should have got a spit cup or something. Oh my God. I'm not swallowing that. That's horrible. This flavor is better than the cookie dough one. But yeah, it's like really chewy, but it also is like kind of grainy. Oh yeah, dude. Oh my God. And the aspartame or the... the It has... It has stevia. Oh, dude. And I hate the taste of stevia. Me too. I, Put that, that on the is, bottom. This is the worst one. That's terrible. God almighty. And I don't know if that's just because it's expired or what, but that was terrible. Yeah, it would have been bad from the jump. Honestly, I would I would eat either of those 1,000% more than I would eat that. That was horrible. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Don't eat. Don't. Okay. These two, I recommend that you buy. Yeah, these two are good. Stay away from that. Yeah, don't buy that's the horrible. In protein bar. Oh god. Oh man. Okay, so next one. This is a brand that I like. Mm. The Built Bar. Yeah, but now the original Built Bar is super chewy. Yeah. Um, not in the way that that one is. Like not like an RX bar kind of oh, chewy. Yeah, like fig. Based. Um, not that, but it's like almost like a candy bar chew. Oh, one. sorry. Thank you. Um. It's like very, very, very chewy and it kind of hurts. Yeah, it's hard. It's to, like your it, jaw is tired hard. by the time you get to the end 100%. of it. 100%. The flavors are really good, but the original Built Bar see. texture, I don't love. Um, but the Built Puff oh, Bars. Oh, this is Puff. Okay. We got all Puff. I got some Puff and granola. The oh, Puff nice. Bars we really like. They have a very marshmallowy kind of um, flavor. The drawback is Not a lot it's of a collagen whey Ooh. blend. Okay, so, so it's part collagen, part whey. Collagen is not great for muscle protein th synthesis as a base of protein. It's also pretty up in the air whether or not collagen is good for what it is supposed to be good right. for, which is hair, nails, in terms of like the collagen supplementation. You do get collagen from just eating animal products. Yeah. But again, our body is very adept at nutrient absorption from animal products yeah. or even, you know, vegetable products, whole food yeah. more so than synthetic collagen made. Yeah. But that's not to say that if this is the only thing that you, you mm -hmm. have, that it's not terrible. And it does have some whey protein in it. Yeah. True. Um, this is the strawberry. We lemonade. don't know how much though. That's the thing. Strawberry lemonade flavor, 150 calories and 16 grams of Ooh, protein. It actually smells great. Smell that. Mm. It smells, it smells like, like uh, strawberry lemonade. You know those um, smells like lemonade. those like Werther strawberry melts. <laughs> yeah, that's what it smells. It smells exactly like I've that. I've never really tried a lot of fruity protein bars. That's what I was the another thing I was about to say. They don't make a lot of fruit based. The built bars do have a lot of fruit flavors. Well, though. there you go. Um, I love chocolate just as a food group. Yeah. <laughs> so I usually tend to gra gravitate I've always, towards chocolate stuff. All my protein like supplements have always been like chocolate based yeah. or like, you know, you used to do strawberry, strawberry drink. for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But now I have a couple, uh, protein powders. One of them's like, uh, fruity pebbles. Mm -hmm. Dude, that is so good. The cinnamon toast crunch one is cinnamon really good. Cinnamon toast too. crunch is really good. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. give it a shot. Already. Oh, it is bright pink on the oh inside. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Okay. That's, that's probably too sweet for me. The flavor is a little strong. Whoa, it just gets worse as you chew it. The texture is not bad. The texture is great. But the flavor on that is so strong. It and does. so get, synthetic. It does get stronger as you go. Oh, yeah. I don't love that. That's that's second worst so far. And the aftertaste is bad. Will you put it over there? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Bill Bar. Yeah. The aftertaste is kind of yucky. Um, it is the lowest calorie, or one of the lowest calories. It's 150 okay. calories. That's not bad. It's for um, 16 grams of protein? Yeah, and I will say this one was free. I ordered two other flavors, and this was one of the free, like, one-offs. So maybe they're trying to get so rid of I, some So thankfully, stock. I don't have a whole box of that. That's the only one. Oh, and I, I, I could not eat a whole box of those. Um, yeah, that that was tough. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> Stuck in my throat. Okay, next right. up. 
Next one. This one is from Target. Oh, this is about to be bad, this too. This is the... No, I actually... So I bought a box of four of these. I was, like, really hungry one day, and okay. I just happened to grab them. Not terrible? Um, not terrible. It is the, like, RX bar kind of um, consistency. Oh, it's dude. It's Good and Gather, which is Target's brand. It is blueberry flavor. It is 210 calories. It, really? It only has 12 grams of protein. Okay. That's the drawback. And the reason 210 is... 210 calories? The reason it has such low protein is because the protein comes, I think, from the egg whites it's and the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't have like a whey protein blend yeah. or whatever. Um, It's eggs and nuts. So there's something to be said there about like... Maybe your body will absorb it better, but we don't really know. We don't really know. Um, I think the good and gather thing is Target's store organic kind of brand. Yeah. Um, so very simple ingredients. Um, I have a terrible. The taste was not terrible. I have a terrible memory of uh, RX bars because. Really? Yes. Yeah, so when we lived in Tallahassee and I was making one of my attempts to be in the gym again, mm -hmm. this was before I, I fully made the switch to being a gym rat. I bought a bunch of the RX bars. Mm -hmm, I remember. And I had a bunch of old protein powder, Synthesix, in from way back. But I didn't check the expiration date. So I got home from training. I ate, I'll never forget, I ate an RX bar, an apple, a thing of the uh, Synthesix protein powder, and a chicken... Tikka masala. Tikka masala from Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. And went and showered. And about 30 minutes later, I threw up for the next 12 hours. And you won't eat Indian food anymore. I can't. It's not that I won't. I would love to. But you know that feeling of like looking at the food? You don't know that. No. People people watching this. I, I think people, you're either like that or you're not. It's like you throw up after eating something. Have you ever had something. food poison? I mean, I, I've had... I've been like sick to my stomach. Like I've thrown up no, before, no, 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 no. but it's never then you stopped have never me had food from poisoning. eating. The, the I food. can't RX bars, Indian food, Indian food. I got apple. Apples are okay. I can yeah, eat apples. Yeah. But that, even that protein powder, I look at it and I'm, I'm very cautious now. Yeah. Okay. All that to say, Oh no, this I, looks so terrible. I, I ate the other three. Look at this. Yeah. No, I don't even know if you can it see this. Look great. It's like a brick. Oh, no. You like it? Enough that I ate the other ones. I mean, the taste is not terrible. The it texture is like, miserable, though. It tastes like blueberries. It has, like, It does taste... Blueberries I will in say, it. out of all of these, which are claiming to taste like something... This is good taste. It tastes the most like the thing that it's claiming to taste. Mm -hmm. It does taste like blueberries. Mm-hmm. It's stuck in my teeth. It's like horrible texture, but at least it tastes what it's supposed to taste it like. It is definitely that very sticky, like date-based protein bar. I hate that. It does have the lowest amount of protein, but the taste is really good. I would put it above the strawberry built bar. I would not. I would put really? it. Really? Yeah, I would put it below. The, because the stra at least the strawberry built bar saves itself in the fact that it's lower calories and higher protein. So if you're just going off of taste, mm -hmm. maybe... Yeah. But if you're going off of like overall nutrient profile, I feel like that's they have better. different, like, which one would I finish out of these two? That one? This one. No, I would finish that one. I mm. We can put them as a tie. Yeah, we'll, we'll tie them. Oh, dude. The, the, the more it goes, better, the worse it gets. The Bilt Bar has better nutrition, mm -hmm. but worse taste. So you got to ask yourself, is What's it worth it to kind of choke it down to get a better nutri yeah. nutrient profile? Yeah. I don't know. That's an, on an individual basis. I was going to say. I, I would not recommend either of them to you. Don't buy that's them. That's why we have them so low. Oh, boy. Look All at right. this. This is the meal replacement Heck bar. Heckin' chonker. This is MetRx Big 100 Super Dude. Cookie Crunch. Let me see. It, it has 410 holy, calories. Holy cow. It has 32 grams of protein. That's crazy. Let me see. And them. it has some soy, some milk, and some whey protein. 42 grams of carbs. This is literally like a pre-workout meal you could have. Yeah. 13 grams of fat. Holy cow. I. It is giant. It is massive. Like it is the girthiest, girthiest of them all it so is, far. It is a big boy. Holy cow. Whoa. It's like a. Oh my gosh. It has Look at that. It has layers. layers. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, it's got crunch in the middle. It looks like a brownie. Mm, not terrible. That's okay. Yeah, not terrible. Honestly, here's the thing about this. I think that it is solid. I do not like the flavor of it by itself. Like, it's very dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It tastes... Oh, I like it. The Oh, God. 
The crunchy part of it is good because I think as you get halfway through that, you're going to want some some of that texture to keep you eating it. Mm -hmm. It is dense, bro. Like that thing is going to sit in your stomach. So yeah, if you're trying to replace a meal, like if your normal meal is 700 calories and you go for this and it's 400. 410. Good. And like, 32 grams of protein is pretty solid. Not terrible. Um, yeah, I actually really like that. It doesn't have a very artificial sweetener taste no. to me. The um, top layer kind of does. Very slight. It's slight, but it's not as bad. Like all of these are worse. In Where terms would you of, put it in term between? Honestly, I I would tie it with the Gatorade bar. I might like it a little bit better. You like it better than the Gatorade bar? Really? I think Maybe. based on the Gatorade bar being less calories, how much yeah. protein is in the Gatorade bar again? 20. Mm. 20. So this has 12 more grams of protein. Put that above it. But less I mean, than the blueberry? Less than the blueberry. The blueberry, this thing the blueberry is, really is the best so far. How much protein was in that one though? 16? In the blueberry one? Yeah, 16. Okay, but so it was here's really the low thing. calorie. If you're cutting, that's number one. If you're bulking, that's number one so far. Mm, the Gatorade good. is a close second. Yeah. These are never buy. Yeah. Like, just don't even think I about it. Buy any of These those are. Depending on your nutritional context, you could buy. Depending on what you How need. many more of these do we have? Five. Oh, geez. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing okay. Oh, okay. So I'm excited to try this. This is Built Bar. Another Built Bar. But it's their granola bar, which is new. Okay. I have not tried these before. Um, let me find. I wonder if they got a lot of flack for the uh, the chewiness of the original bar. And so they were like, well, we got to come up with something else. What flavor know. is this? Um, this is chocolate peanut butter. Oh, boy. It has 160 calories, 15 grams of protein. It's it's whey protein. Less than the puff. Um. The, the doesn't puff the puff have 16? Had 16. But this is all whey. Yes. Oh, this is all whey. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Let's give it a go. I'm getting so tired of these. The chocolate um, peanut butter original Built Bar flavor was one of my favorites. So I'm hoping that this looks tastes. like a Snickers. Yeah. And the Bilt Bars are covered in, like, real chocolate, so they're not very artificial. I don't taste the granola aspect of that. I don't either. There's no granola in that. I was hoping it would be, like, the... Oh, no. I hate that. Crispy rice one. I gotta spit that out. Woo! Okay. That's terrible. Really? Yeah! I think it's okay. You like it? I don't love it, but it's fine. Uh, no. I'll be able Honestly, to, I'll I'm, eat them. I'm putting that on par with the Kirkland. I just got a weird aftertaste. It's horrendous. I did just get a weird aftertaste real quick. Bro, that is, with the Kirkland, if not worse than the Kirkland. I like this better than the strawberry one. I You're really didn't crazy. Like, I really didn't like the strawberry one. I think but, it's just because you love chocolate so much. Yeah. But this says it's a granola bar. There's no granola in this. Mm -mm. This is false advertising. I feel like this is them fixing the original bars. Yeah, that's all this is. This is just a regular protein bar that's not as chewy as the original one. Yeah. There is no granola in this whatsoever. Like, no, there's no granola in it. I was thinking it would be like the crispy rice right. kind of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is, if it's up to me, this is Kirkland adjacent. It is better than the Kirkland bar. You want to put it in the middle? Yeah. Oh, God. So this is just a touch better than the Kirkland bar, but worse than... The Target one and the other built It's bar. just not what I thought it was going to be. Well, how can you say it's a granola bar when it is not a granola yeah, bar? Yeah, that's what like... If I bought a box of these thinking that I was going to get granola bars, I would be upset. I would be disappointed, yeah. Like, that's not a granola bar at all. Yeah, no. God, and it just doesn't taste very good. <laughs> yeah, the taste is like, I can kind of take it or leave it. Mm. Like, the chocolatiness of this one is much better. The meal replacement bar yeah, we just did. for like, sure. That one's kind of bland. It's God. just kind of bland. Ugh. And you get more of a peanut taste than a chocolate. I was about to taste. say, and if you when I smelled it, you all you could smell is peanut. Yeah, like there was no chocolate it's aspect very to it peanutty. at all. Yeah, and you don't like peanut. I like peanut butter. Yeah, you do. All right, this is a birthday cake flavor oh, by boy. one. Can we can we retire birthday cake as a flavor? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Really. I feel like we've done. I just it wanted to, death. to change it up. That's why I bought. No, this no, one. I think it's good that you bought it, but I'm saying generally, like pr birthday cake. Was is like the froyo of flavors. You know what I yeah. mean? It was super huge for like four or five years. Everybody was doing some type of birthday cake something. Yeah. We're over it now. We can yeah. go back to the traditional. This feels like it has some texture on top. I oh wonder God. if it has sprinkles on it. Oh boy! Um, but it's two hundred and twenty calories, and that has is a lot. Twenty grams of protein. For how dense the bar is, like the bar is very small mm -hmm. for how much calories it has. And it has milk slash whey protein. Okay, so it's. 
a mix. Let's see if it's got some sprinkles on it. It, it does. does, and it looks ugly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know about this one. Yeesh. Can you see that? Probably not. Oh, God. <sighs> It, look, it looks this, like Fruity Pebbles on These top. are the worst color sprinkles that you could put on They're something. They're a very sad, like, dark color palette of sprinkles. Oh, it's like cake. It's like a cake. Like, that's cake. That's like a cake bar. Oh, no. This is the oh, worst one. Oh, no. That's chalk. It's very artificial sweetener tasting. Ugh. Oh, that's really bad. Dude, this is the worst. Oh, I just got the fake vanilla. This is the worst. Oh, that's really terrible. Oh, God. Without a doubt. I'm not playing like, this up. It tastes like perfume. Without a doubt. This is the worst. I never thought we would find one worse than the Kirkland. It tastes like perfume. It's bad. It tastes like grandma perfume. Oh, my word. Yeah. This is on the absolute. What brand? One. This is on the absolute do not buy. Are you cleansing your palate with a good one? <laughs> the absolute do that not buy. That's really terrible. One, how are you worse than the Kirkland brand? The Kirkland brand is miserably bad. Oh. Who tested that? I don't know. I don't know. Did if there's, any product test that? I, there's I, no way. Maybe it's expired. I, that was. I just bought it like yesterday. That was so bad. It tastes like grandma perfume. Mm -hmm. It smells. The texture is bad. It's too soft. The, the smell is terrible. The sprinkles are dumb. And it's so high calorie. High calorie, 20 grams of protein, okay. Like, put, throw that on the floor. That, that was terrible. terrible. Oh, Gosh, my. Most of these are bad. I wish some, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Most protein bars are, this is why I'm a protein powder guy. I'm not yeah. a protein bar person. And protein powder is so much more like flexible like you can put right. it in a smoothie you can, you can drink make it mixed stuff with out water. of it people you make can, like muffins and stuff everybody's obsessed with the ninja creamy and making protein ice cream have you seen that i've seen protein ice cream i didn't know it was called the ninja creamy it's a new machine that ninja came out with it's a blunder yeah but it makes, it makes ice, ice cream because well, well, like you put the ingredients in and you like freeze it overnight and then you blend it and it like makes ice cream immediately oh nice um well there you go i mean I'm, that's the thing there's more yeah you can do a lot value I will say, though, a bar does feel more like food. And it's portable. I think that's the main... Yeah, but if you carry around your little shaker cup, just don't leave it in the car so it smells terrible when you're done with it. Right. Well, you know, that's a rite of passage as a gym bro. <laughs> Opening up the two-week-old shaker cup that you left in your gym bag oh. and absolutely dying of biohazardous waste. That's terrible. I've done that many times. That's terrible. It's worse if you mix it with milk. Ooh. I've I've washed your protein Ooh, cups. Yeah, you have. Yeah, Damn. I know. I don't mix with milk anymore because I'm mm, cutting. Yeah. Oh, I man. can't wait to get back to the milk though. The yeah. milk makes it taste so much better. Yeah, I bet it does. What's next? Um, this is another built puff. This was another one of the freebie ones. Oh. It is lemon lime flavor. Mm. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous based on how fake the other one was. That's absurd. It is only 150 calories and okay. it has 17 grams of protein. Is this the lowest calorie one so far? I think it might be. Yeah. 17 grams of protein um, for 150 calories. So the other built puff is also was 150? also, and it had 16, but this has 17. It's, oh. Again, the collagen whey blend. Also, this is NASCAR's official protein bar. I didn't know. What well, there you go. Do you so, need a lot of protein to be a NASCAR dude, athlete driver? Here's the thing. NASCAR, like, driving a car. I feel like you need more electrolytes than protein. Dude, definitely. But you all, like, it's very taxing. I, like, I didn't I'm know sure that until is. I started talking to a lot of people who are really into driving fast cars, either Formula One or NASCAR. I really don't want to eat this one. This looks hor. Oh, God. Well, remember it melted in transit. Okay, because I was about to say it's stuck to the wrapper. This looks like a. It was delivered on a very hot day. <laughs> this looks like a laffy taffy. <laughs> like it's just, it's just. Oh, bad. I can smell it. Oh yeah, no. Mm -mm. I'm taking. Right no, now. thank you. Nope. It's so limey. It's so limey. Oh god. I can't eat that. You, we found one that you can't eat. Oh. I'm sorry to Go everyone. Go throw it in the trash. Put that down. Ugh. I'm sorry to everyone that you had to watch me spit that out. I'm really sorry. Oh man, dude, we've had a run of bad ones. Oh, it like burns going down your throat. It's so acidic. Yeah. It like, it is giving me, it's going to give me heartburn. Like if I ate a whole bar of this, I would, that I would is die. Really bad. <laughs> it, it tastes like motor oil. Ah, oh, yeah, this it's is like on par with the one bar. It's just the sharpest, fakest lime, lime taste. There's no lemon in ah. that. That's like key lime pie, but like. Very, very lime. Ooh, that's no thanks. 
That's how many? Right. How many more? We've I'm only starting got to. Two more. I'm starting to get just pissed. We've got two more. All right, last. This is the last bar. Another built bar. It is a built puff. It is cappuccino flavored. Oh, jeez, a loo. You know, I'm really disappointed because, like, in the past, a lot of the built bar puff flavors that we've had have been good. Like, what are ones we've had? The that cookie dough one was good. Yeah. The churro one was really okay, good. Okay, the churro one was the good. The churro one was really good. So I didn't want to get that because we've, we've already had, had that it. One. The um the banana cream pie one was really good too. Oh yeah. And it wasn't fakey banana. It was yeah, good. That's the thing that's so shocking is like. I remember. I thought these were going to be some of the best. I remember ones eating the, the artificial, ones. like banana cream pie, and being like, "Wow, this doesn't taste artificial at all." Yeah. So for these to be just like literally out of a lab, tasting like I don't know, terrible. So, we so gotta, I'm hoping that this one will be better. We got to eat one more. This I'm, is the lowest calorie one. This is 140 calories. Okay. How much protein? 16. And again, not collagen bad. slash whey because it's one of the puff ones. Here's the thing. I'm not going to like this regardless because I don't like cappuccino flavor. Yeah. But we'll see. I hope these are good because I did buy a box of these. I I don't know. It's inoffensive. I don't like I cappuccino. Like yeah. If you like cappuccino, it's not super artificial. It's not super sweet. Not very sweet at all. So if you like... Very sweet coffee. You might not like this. If you like dark chocolate, you're going to like that. Mm -hmm. You know, like a dark roast coffee without a lot of and sugar it in it. chocolate on the outside, so it's kind of like a mocha. Yeah, a medium. I it's like worse that. than the Gatorade bar. Yeah. I would put it kind of C tier. Worse than the worse than the Gatorade bar. I will be able to eat the box of those. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. I, I will not. That's okay. I bought them for myself. Good. Okay. Last one. Last one. This one's a little bit different. I kind of saved it for last on purpose. This is a cookie. Yes. Okay. This is by Quest, which is our number oh, one bar. So, so hopefully this high, one will be very high hopes, good. High hopes for the protein cookie. This is 250 calories and it only has 15 grams of protein. I think this is more of a treat yeah, than yeah. a protein bar. Yeah. But it was a fun gimmick. So I had to buy it. 50 calories? For a cookie. And it's milk slash whey protein blend. Here's the thing. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this and why I want to do another one was I was on Amazon and they, they have protein cheese puffs. No. Yeah. So my thing was like, why is protein every day? Like the proteinification of every everyday food is happening. So after I want to like let this settle a little bit, but I wanted to do one where we of buy like a bunch gimmick of the, protein foods? the gimmick protein stuff. Like there's protein mac and cheese. Oh, dude. And I just want to try all that. Because it's probably all garbage. I mean, yeah, but maybe it'll, if any of it's good, it might help people to eat. Here's, that's what I was going to, that's a great point. The take home message is people clearly have a hard time getting their protein in. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Everybody that I do nutrition consults with, one of the main things we focus on is you're not getting enough protein. Yeah. Because the standard American diet is not very protein based, obviously. Right. It's very carbohydrate and fat based. Yeah. Now, you are getting a little bit of protein if you're eating fast food all the time. Right. But. It's not very high quality. It's not it's high not quality. And you are sacrificing higher calorie higher fat mm -hmm. for the amount of protein, like a cheeseburger, right. for example. Sure, there's going to be protein in red meat. There's also a lot of cheese and it's very fatty cut of meat rather than like a lean beef. Right, right. So all that to say, if you need something, you know, like Ron Swanson eating the eating the banana in the hamburger. <laughs> do what you have to do. To get a little bit of, you know, protein in. Yeah. I have to say the cappuccino one has a really good aftertaste for not, me. Not for me. It, I'm sitting here It has struggling. a coffee aftertaste. My grandma used to have these like coffee hard candies at her house that Ooh. I used to love. No, they were see, so good. I'm a, I'm a Werther's like, original man. You just don't like coffee that much. That I like, I tolerate coffee for the boost that it gives yeah, me. I'm not really a big I, like coffee head. I really like the taste of coffee. This scares me. A it little looks bit. a little. It doesn't look fantastic. Yeah. Very soft. No, not good. Not bad. Not bad. That's good. A little, a little synthetic. Mm-hmm. But not terrible. How much sugar is this? Yeah, it's less than one gram of sugar. So it's very, yeah, as I'm. The texture of the dough is a little bit strange. It's so soft. It's very soft. It tastes like the chewy Chips Ahoy, but without the goodness of the <laughs> chewy Chips Ahoy. I'll say it's a little bit bland. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. It's bland. It doesn't have any salt in it. It doesn't have any salt or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just like 
It has 200 milligrams of sodium. I don't know. It's very bland. 200 milligrams isn't that much. No. Especially I mean, it's, not in something this big. It's big. But it's not bad. Um, I would put it by the cappuccino built bar, I think. Maybe a little bit worse. Worse than, than the Gatorade bar? Yeah, I like the Gatorade yeah. bar. This just doesn't have very much flavor. It's it's kind of flavorless. It tastes like synthetic chocolate, and that's about it. You know, like in a regular chocolate chip cookie, you're also getting like the cookie aspect of you're it. You're getting and not the just, butter and the right. sugar. Th- and that doesn't have any of that. No. That just has like, here's some chocolate and like a bland like vehicle that the chocolate <laughs> right. can sit in. <laughs> right. The, the chocolate's just in this blob medium. Okay. Would you, n- now having had all of these, uh-huh. would you change any of their ranking? I, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think so, honestly. I think we did a pretty good job. I think these are all where they're supposed to be. Yeah, like basically anything. I, yeah, I would repurchase any the cookie and above. I probably wouldn't repurchase the cookie. No, I don't think um, so. I was I gonna say repurchase this. These four. Four. So we got four out of eleven. Eleven. <laughs> here's here here's the take home message, folks. Get your protein from whole food sources. Yeah, these like, are miserably bad. The cookie. The blueberry target bar and nah. the granola bar. I, if I were in a pinch, starving, like if I needed protein bars and none of these were available, I would buy any one of those again. I would buy like, the cookie. They weren't offensive to That's me. It. The other ones I would like to strike from these, the marketplace. These five actively made me feel so worse bad. than when I had eaten them. Yeah. Like the the blueberry bars and the granola bars. Like I have a whole box of granola bars. I'll be able to eat them. Yeah. I will eat them as a snack. They were not what I was expecting. And that's, I think, part of why I rated it so low. Uh, no, I rated um, it low because I just didn't The flavor like the was kind of bland. Yeah. Um, the blueberry bars, that's the last one out of the box of four. And I ate the other three as a snack and they were fine. So um, if you were... But I'm not going to buy them again. If you're not very picky, then you could take Sarah's recommendations. If you have more of a discerning palate or if you're a very picky if you're if a you picky want, eater yeah which i am self-proclaimed i eat mm-hmm. the same thing all the time i would recommend that you stay towards this side of the table like these were these three were actually really good i would I'm say gonna finish them i would not say, all the, today the only one that i would say is really good is the blueberry or yeah, the, the quest bar. bar the yeah. other two are good enough yeah. But at the end of the day... I'm not looking for a meal replacement bar, I'm, and that's me personally. No, but even if I was, like, I don't I don't know if I'm going for those. I don't think... I think your problem with protein bars is you, like, when it comes to dessert flavors, which protein bars tend to be desserty mm, flavors, yeah. you prefer a fruity dessert over right. a chocolatey dessert. Fruity protein bars, as we have seen today, are terrible. <laughs> They're not good. But the other thing, too, is, like... You don't love chocolate stuff yes but basically like if you're gonna have dessert just have dessert Mm -hmm. at the end of the day like it doesn't have to all be protein you know like my thing is like get your protein from places you're supposed to get your protein from (laughs) animal products if you're a vegan soy and then like enjoy and then have a dessert within whatever your calorie goal is that's the thing i think the the big problem is like and it's what, what always shocks me about veganism I'm not offending the vegan people here. I'm just saying this is an observation I've made. Vegan people are always like, oh, have you tried this vegan mac and cheese? It's like, bro, you have given up your right to have mac and cheese by being a vegan or like the impossible burger. Or I I think it's more that like if you really like mac and cheese, but you feel very strongly about these ethical things, fine. You can have worse mac and cheese. Yeah. But don't, I'm not don't, trying to eat that. Don't market it to me like right. it's the best thing I'm ever going to eat because it's not. You that's, know what I mean? I, I think guess. that's like, I support people to be vegan. I think yes, it's great. Of course. Please take a B12 vitamin if you're vegan. But I don't think we can pretend like vegan mac and cheese is as good as regular mac and cheese. No, here's the thing. Don't don't translate my anger here or my. You can be angry. I know. I'm saying that's I'm my. Angry. That's my. I'm own just feeling. saying. You can't say I'm vegan and then all you eat is Oreos and substitute mac and cheese. Like that's not real. It's not very good for so you. So this is the thing about about the protein bar. It's like you can't just substitute everything. Like, like sometimes you just have to eat what what initially has protein in it. Right. Right. 
You know what I mean? Well, and then you can, because I think what happens a lot of the time is people get focused on everything being a health food and then like the health food that's supposed to be a chocolate chip cookie Tastes terrible. isn't very good. And so then you go binge on real chocolate chip exactly. cookies because you're really dying for a chocolate chip cookie. It's like if you just eat a lot of whole foods, get your protein from like a source that's actually good and like going to be tasty, like chicken or beef or whatever, um, beans, I love beans dairy products. These are great places to get protein. And then you can enjoy a real chocolate chip cookie Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, like right. I guess that should that's, not be, that's the point, right? You shouldn't be eliminating chocolate chip cookies or chocolate bars or a pineapple upside down cake completely from your diet. It's, yeah. you just have to find a way to fit them into a healthier overall diet. Yes. You know, you don't have to limit yourself to this stuff. This, this, substitutionary idea where around everything where has everything to has to be protein healthy. or, you know, whatever yeah. it causes that problem because yeah. it, it will never taste as good. Even right. that quest bar is never, it's not blueberry cobbler never going to come close to blueberry cobbler or any other candy bar on the market. Right? Yeah. So if you're saying, okay, I'm not going to have a Snickers or I'm not going to have a fast break. I'm going to have this instead. You're still going to be left with the craving right. of the Snickers or the fast break or whatever it is. And it's like, have a fun size Snickers instead of like a whole one maybe. And then you're still fitting it in, in a way that works for your new lifestyle. The major thing is, and I've been, you know, I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, we are training or we're coaching soccer moms and business dads. I don't mean to be gendered with my language. This is just the, the whatever. Shut up. <laughs> stereotype. <laughs> just, yeah. just the stereotypes, right? We're training them the same way that we would train people who are trying to make it to the Olympia stage. It's like mm -hmm. you don't have to be as rigid and right. as restrictive with your dietary implementations. Mm -hmm. If your goal is just to lose 10 pounds and feel a little bit better, mm -hmm. you don't need an atomic bomb when a Band-Aid will do, right? Like don't right. use a jackhammer for a, a problem that can be solved with a screwdriver. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. But there, it's all or nothing in the diet It's like space a total right overhaul of your entire diet and everything you've ever liked and everything you've ever eaten. That's not only are you You're probably setting yourself gonna, up for failure. Right. It's also a huge mental load Dude. to try to like find new recipes and figure out how to cook them. And yeah. Like, and then you're dissatisfied because you've done a ton of work. You found the recipe. You bought all these new ingredients. You worked really hard to make it. And then- you're totally denying all of your cravings and it's yep. just going to get to this boiling point where you crack and you can't do it. It's and just, then you feel guilty because you've overindulged. It's, such a vicious it's a cycle. cycle. It's yeah. terrible. And so and it's a cycle that I live in constantly. Yeah. That's why I'm so passionate about it is because I've made the mistakes. I have tried whole 30. I have tried paleo. I have tried intermittent fasting. I've tried mm -hmm. all of these hacks that are supposed to aid you. And yes, they can help you. They yeah. can help you for sure. But at the same time, if you are, like I always say, this food is designed to make you want more of it. And they are very intelligent. These people that are making yeah, this like stuff. like the fast food, the junk food, quote unquote. It is very intelligently made to mm -hmm. get you in that cycle of wanting more, right? So sometimes it's okay to say, let me just have portion controlled this. Let me just have a cheeseburger today. One rather than five. Right. Let me have like, like you instead said, of every fun day. size Snickers bar instead of the king size Snickers bar today. Yeah. Because a lot of the times that will satiate the craving yeah. and give you another couple weeks right. before those cravings get bad again. There's a dietitian who's really popular on YouTube. I think Abby something is her name. I don't know if you've seen her, um, but she talks about that kind have. of thing a lot. Probably she's got like short blonde hair. Anyway, she talks about like how you should honor your cravings. And I don't know if she says it in that exact language, but it's like, if you're really craving some like salt and vinegar chips, but it's like, no, I'm just, I'm going to have celery and you eat a bunch of celery, you still want the chips. And then you're just going to binge on the chips. When, if you just portioned out yeah. a serving or two of those chips to begin with, you would have satisfied your That's cravings. And at the end of the day, eaten fewer calories because you've portioned it out. Right. Right. But, but the problem is I'm, we're not, Letting people say, let me just eat whatever I want. No. That's the big problem is people hear this side of the argument from, from whatever dietitian or what personal trainer or whatever. And they say, oh, 
I can eat whatever I want and still lose weight. No. No, Like we talked about, the law of thermodynamics still exists. Mm -hmm. But eating it in a a controlled environment where you're actually eating and tracking one portion of this food that you crave is not going to kill you. It's like you're satisfying your craving in a reasonable way that's still like not going to derail your health goals and then the craving's not bothering you anymore. Right. And Most you can of the time. and you can move past it. And if not, and that's like okay. if you're like me and you have maybe some mental issues with food, we're not going to self-diagnose, but then that would be then a sign that you need a- another intervention. Because yeah. there are people that Are addicted to food. And one portion is not going to satiate them very much like me. Yeah. So then I would would say, okay, well, it's time to take the next step, talk to a mental health professional, try and figure out what your triggers are, all that type of stuff. But I think the problem is people think that people fail diets for a lack of willpower Mm -hmm. when willpower is not an infinite resource. It Mm -hmm. is a finite resource. So Mm -hmm. even the most strong-willed people Mm -hmm. will be tempted Mm -hmm. and a lot of times will fall into that temptation. There are professional bodybuilders who mess up on their diet and they are, in some cases, getting paid to do it by sponsorships or they're up for a $100,000 purse and they still mess up. Mm -hmm. So this idea that the money is going to help them drive them, whatever, that's not entirely true. Right. So if money is not a factor, if vanity is not a huge factor, cause you know, nobody's more vain than bodybuilders. Sorry guys, but it's true. Um, then surely you, who is a normal human being who's just going throughout their day. You're not going to win a million dollars for doing this. You definitely don't have the same amount of willpower that these people do. So We're give yourself, human. give it's yourself okay. that grace and say, I can set up systems that are going to help me when I don't have the willpower. Mm-hmm. This is why for me, I don't have a lot of this food in the house mm-hmm. or I don't go out very often. There are some people that are, that diet that go out to restaurants and are able to pick something off of the menu. That's going to fit in their diet. You I am not, not one of those. Person. I'm not one of those people. I'm going to a restaurant. I'm buying the worst thing for me. The yeah. most calorically dense thing. And so maybe it's, you know, you don't have delivery apps on your phone right. anymore. Or like we were with some friends a week or two ago and we picked a restaurant that was relatively healthy. We went to Cava. Yeah. You can't get a cheeseburger and fries at Cava. Right. Right. It's, and it was probably the highest calorie meal you've Still had in very the last three months. Dense, yeah. But better we, than we picked a place where the options were restricted right. so that you could be within the wiggle room of exactly. your of your diet. And it's not, it doesn't make you any less of a person or take mm-hmm. away any less desire that you have to be healthier, to be fitter, to even look better, because vanity can be a driver. It doesn't remove any of that. It is stupid. And it is short-sighted to go into a diet thinking, I'm just going to last off of willpower. It's short-sighted because there will come a time when the willpower is not going to be there. And if you have not put any of those systems in place, you are going to backslide. Mm -hmm. That is 99 out of 100 times. Mm -hmm. There may be the one monk who can, you know, live off of whatever forever. But I'm talking to the general public here. Mm -hmm. That is what I have seen in my clients. That I, is what I've seen in myself, mm-hmm. in, in tons of anecdotal evidence, and in some studies, right? Mm-hmm. So all that to say, don't buy any of these protein bars. They're all bad, except for the, <laughs> the Quest one, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to be able to eat the ones that I bought. Yeah. The boxes of, which are... You are, less, you are less discerning yeah, than I'm, I am. I'm not very picky That's with okay. food. I'm also not even close to like addicted to food. Yeah. Like with food, I, if it's in front of me, I will eat it. Um, if it's not in front of me, I'm not jonesing for it. Yeah. Genes Um, are different. (laughs) Genetics are different. I I am genetically predisposed to weight issues and alcohol issues. And and I will say like, if there's a big plate of food in front of me, I will, I will eat all of it. Like I can't stop. Yeah. (laughs) Like leave food on my plate. I don't know why. Um, but there's a it's lot okay. of, you know, there's a lot of evidence and I don't have a lot of strong like cravings or anything like that. Yeah. But in terms the like clean your plate phenomenon, yeah, it's a lot of people in the diet space. I don't know where I fall on the spectrum. I haven't really thought about it that much, but a lot of people say that it's not healthy to tell your kids to clean the plate. Mm-hmm. But the idea is it comes from a good place. You don't want to yeah. waste food right. at the oh, end of the day. I, it's not even that for me though. It's like, if there's the opportunity for seconds on the, like, 
I will get seconds. Yeah. Like even if I'm not that hungry, I'm like, I could have another bite of rice. Yeah. Or I, like, I don't know. I could eat another cookie. Like I just like, I will. It's like, yeah. it's available. If it's there, if it's, there. it's not on my plate. Yeah. If it's on the table. Yeah. I will. Whereas for me, or like when we have hot pot with our friends, like oh, yeah. I will just go and go and go. If and I'm go. sitting downstairs in front of my computer with no thought of food or no food around me, there will be moments where I would just be like, I'm just going to go to Waffle House. <laughs> It's like, why, why did that, that thought come into your head? Yeah, see, the, yeah. So that happens to me a lot, especially now. Like yeah. I'm very deep into a diet right now. I've got three more weeks, <laughs> dude. I'm craving everything. We talked about going to Hooters yesterday. Uh, which, we talked about going to four different restaurants yesterday. Wait, Hooters, you. <laughs> Hooters has garbage food. I've never had garbage. Any and meanwhile, I'm just like, let's go anything, anything and everything. I'll go to crystal. I'll go to long John silvers right now. I'm telling you, oh, I'm deep gosh. in it. It's like, it, it, I understand you're deep in it, but like pick a place that's yummy. Like don't waste it on something gross. No, I would eat anything right now. I would eat anything. That's crazy. Except for these protein bars right here. Yeah. So you wouldn't eat anything. I wouldn't eat anything. See, that's how you know you're not yeah. actually hungry. Eat you're just that craving. lemon lime bar. See, you're just craving stuff. That's the question I always ask myself. Yeah. Am I bored? Am I just having a craving or am I actually hungry? Because if you're actually hungry, you will eat the bland chicken and rice that yeah. you've made, you know? And like that. for me, it's am I thirsty? Yeah. Like, have I had enough water? Am I just thirsty or am I really yeah. hungry? Yeah. A lot of times dehydration can mask itself as hunger. Yeah. All right, folks. Thank you for joining us today. This was fun. I want to do another one of these with the crazy wacky foods. We'll yeah. probably do that after. I feel like that has the potential to be even more unpleasant. Oh, it's going to be terrible. I cannot think of anything worse than protein macaroni and cheese. Oh. What is it? It's going to be garbage. It's in like the, the Easy Mac cups. Get ready for that. So if you like this video or this podcast episode, you can go ahead and tell us that you want us to do more of the protein yeah. stuff. And, and if we you will. see any crazy protein foods, yes. send it to us Please. and we will buy it. Join the discord we'll and post it. it in the discord and we will buy it and yeah. test it. We for real. We'll buy it. We hope you all have a good rest of your week. Sorry. This episode was a little bit late. We had stuff going on. Yep. Sometimes it's sometimes not going to come out on Monday, man. We're just humans. Life happens. Um, anything else you want to plug? I think Follow us on Instagram. It. Yeah. Buy the Quest Bar. Don't buy anything else. Buy the Quest Bar. That's it. <laughs> Have a good rest of your week, everybody. See ya. Bye, guys.